Hello out there folks, it's Dave here again from Dave Station VR, and I wanted to show off a little bit of a game called Dance Collider. It's a new rhythm game coming to PSVR this Thursday, kind of a weird day, uh, the 9th of July. And I think it should be about 15 bucks. Now uh, let me pop you guys into the actual game here, instead of staring at this little screen. There we go. Alright. So, uh, I'm going to replay the intro because this is actually a really surprising setup for a rhythm game. And I, I kind of, off the bat, I was like, oh wow, this could be interesting. At the dawn of the 24th century, transhumans are nurtured by a super AI known it's as Uriel. Very cyberpunk. Hey. hey, what's going All on? All forms of art and expression, considered wasted resources, have been outlawed for many centuries. On April 16th, 2306, a piece of music known as Collider transmitted across the neural network for 59 seconds. So this backstory has basically nothing to do Uriel's with the actual systems. gameplay, but I and like it a lot. A and this, this presentation is pretty cool with the, the depth of the uh, communities shared and adapted kind of cartoon music, style and stuff here. It looks pretty good. In secret competitions. Victory strikers. Known as Dance Collider, you. the best renegade up, dancers Victory? from around the world come together for the ultimate test of skill and SHMEP. endurance. Said. Would you say is Iron Man worth it? Um, Iron Man, I think, is probably worth it because said, the content is Yo there. Dave. There's like a ton of content in Iron Man. There's a bunch of time trials and challenges and stuff to unlock and all kinds of stuff. Um, so I would say for that reason, yeah, it's worth 40 bucks. But the downside is in between all that stuff, you have so many loading screens to deal with. But anyways, we're here today to talk about this game, which I've only played a little bit of so far, but it's kind of an interesting setup. You pick a character that you want to fight against, and they have their own set of songs now that, or never. that go with that character, which is kind of interesting. Um, before we get started, I'm going to turn up voice chat a little bit. I'm sorry, you guys can hear it too. I haven't figured that out yet, but um, I want to be able to hear you better while I'm playing. So, un momento. Hold on, hold on. Doesn't that look cool? Hey, what's going on, Triangulator? Um, I'm liking it so far. It's got a little bit of a, you know, the triangulator. Uh, box VR, so, Beat Saber thing going on. Uh, a little bit of Beat Saber. What's up, Nick Lab? Yo, yo, yo. Give me one sec. I'm just adjusting your audio so I can hear you guys better. And... Oh, now I don't hear anything. That's not good. What happened there? Okay, no, okay. I lost all the audio. <laughs> I've lost every bit of it. What just happened there? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, come back. No, not these technical issues. Now, come on. Don't give me this. Sorry, guys, this has not happened before. Uh, what's up, Seven? Why is this shit getting muted? Ah, that's why. Okay, we're back in business. We got it. I think. Come on. Sorry for all the technical difficulties on these streams, guys. What happened to the audio? That is very strange. Oh, wait, there it is. I got it, I got it. Okay, we're back in business. Sorry about that, guys. We are good to go here. I think we're looking great. And no issues. All good. Bumping your guys' volume up a little bit, and we're back. Uh, sorry about that. Okay, so as I was saying before that whole thing, um, this is an interesting setup for a rhythm game because each character you go up against has their own set of songs, and you can pick on easy, normal, pro, or extreme is new. I haven't played this enough to play extreme, so I'm not going to do that. But let's try, um, let's see, we'll do one I haven't done before. Sleepwalker, it's the very first one in the game. And we'll just try it on easy to give you guys an idea what this game's all about. Said, is this not on PSVR? It's coming on PSVR uh, the 9th of July. What I'm doing is it's actually on sale on Steam right now for uh, $5.99. And I haven't heard back from the developers about a review key, so I figured I'd just preview it for you guys with the Steam VR version. Um, one cool thing about this, too, is that they've Wait, motion captured dance. dances for all Three, these songs. Two, um, for your opponent, so you see like a giant cyberpunk floating opponent, like... Obviously these are ones where you hold in one spot.
Uh, you can see why I say it's a little got a little bit of box VR DNA in it. Although I think this might have come out before box VR. I'm not entirely sure about that. But this game is definitely designed to get you, like, dancing a little more than some rhythm games are, and that's I think that's why they have the person in the background sort of guiding you, like... Yeah, I'm sorry about the chat being as loud as the audio. I'm, I don't know what to do about that. One day I'll figure it out. I turned it up so I could hear it better myself, because I don't want to miss what you guys are saying, but uh, I guess that didn't work out too well for the stream. What's up, Roy? It's going to be fourteen ninety nine, I think, on, on uh, PSVR. Well, I mean, isn't pretty much every rhythm game in VR, like, a rip-off Beat Saber. Hey, what's up? Sleepwalker. Why'd you call me a sleepwalker? Oh, it got faster! This is kind of fun. So, um, all the songs in this game, interestingly enough, are done by the same guy. Um, this guy named, like, F477? F577? Something like that. Um, but, yeah, there's like 45 different tracks, which is quite a few for a rhythm game that I got for six bucks. C+, plus. you gotta be kidding, C+. Plus. Okay, hold on. I got an A- minus when I played off of stream Joe before Grover, this. The FN game cat. Yo, Joe Grover. Said, Pyro. First time playing. This, uh, so I played for like 10 minutes before the stream, so pretty much, yeah, that's why I'm on easy. That's why I got a C on easy. <laughs> also, I was talking too much. But let's try this Pyro guy. Let's see what his levels are like. Uh oh, Inferno, Blaze, Combustion. He's the dubstep guy. I guarantee you. This guy's totally the dubstep guy. Let's go Inferno. We'll try easy again. Maybe I'll be able to move up to normal here in a sec. But if I'm getting Cs, I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, so it looks like they all have their own arenas, too. Um, you look nervous. You should be. Three, two, one. Boom, 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 boom. Joe Grover agrees that it's cool. This is one of those games that I do believe is more of a workout than Beat Saber, unless you're playing Beat Saber on, like, Expert uh, Plus or something. Because it does really want you to move your body. I mean, it's about dancing, and they really give you that encouragement with the dude in the background. You got his moves going on and stuff. Oh, shit! So I already like this better than like uh, Synth Riders or Airtone, which have similar styles. Um, this is also pretty similar, I would say, to Beats Fever, um, again that came out in Hong Kong originally. But it's very polished and it's got a lot of sense of style. So I really like uh, the presentation on this one a lot. I still can barely hear you guys. Oh, thanks for the donation, guys. You guys are awesome. Whoa, where did that thing come from? This is cool! These backgrounds! Look at this shit! Wow. Uh, Autica could take a few pages out of this book. Because Autica has a very uninspired, kind of boring backgrounds. And there's a lot going on here. That goes with the music and stuff. I'm liking it. Well done. Yeah, Your I think that's okay. my style off. Stage clear. Better not be a C again. C plus. How did I? I was getting A minuses right 
Suspicious activity detected. Hold on a sec. What does this mean at the top? Is there going to be like a boss fight? This bar keeps going up. I'm very curious about what that means. There's like a next round thing too, which I could just do instead of going back to the lobby and I'll just play, I guess, the next song in the, the mix. Is that how that works? Let's find out. Is Blaze actually the next song? I also missed some comments, I think, with those tips. Give me one sec. Roy Schwartz said, LOL, I was a C and in school. Joe Grover, the FN game cat, said, I was a C sadly got a meeting to go to. Uh, see you later, Joe. Pass on, first glance. on first glance, I would say probably, um, it's worth picking up. It looks, it looks great, and there's 45 levels. I like the concept of each character having like a different style of music to go with them. And uh, the motion captured dances in the background are really cool. Because I'm wondering if so. I should get an Oculus as well as my PSVR. So how much do the Oculus cost? Well, so if we want to get into the price of an what an Oculus costs, Yuri. you got to think about the computer first. So I went out of my way Pyro. to buy a new computer. Pyro. Wow, and then I've got my Oculus Quest stuff. hooked up to it. Which uh, was 400 bucks. They're hard to find, so good luck finding one. But um, I think it's a great system. Actually, I'm playing wirelessly right now. Um, yeah, but I, I'm going to stick to stuff that's coming to PSVR. So not just going to be playing Half Life Alex on here or whatever as much as I'd like to, because that game's fun. All right, let's try another one of these guys. Wow, just, I kind of like this Pyro guy. Three, two, He's got like a cyberpunk one. arm. He's an android. I guess I said everyone's a transhuman, so. Oh shit. No problem. Later. What's up, Ryan? Ryan, I'm getting C's on easy, so I'm off to a bad start here. They said in the tutorial that the force with which you hit the stuff matters. But the game is not really set up to be like box VR in terms of you hitting stuff. With the, the patterns. So I don't know what they want out of me. Oh, it gets better on hard and expert too? I gotta try out normal even. I'm just on easy. <laughs> I do like games that have these kind of things. That's always fun. Reminds me of Para Para Paradise. I love rhythm games. Ever since DDR when I was a kid and, you know, Para Para Paradise, poppin' music. I'm a huge rhythm game, like classic, uh, B-Mani, Konami stuff. I mean, I'm getting sweaty on easy, but it's kinda hot in my house. Save this fun, I like this one. Oh, that's cool too. Yeah, so they want you to, to get extra points by putting force into your swings when you hit these. But it's sometimes I'm not sure if it's really designed for me to do that. That might be why I'm getting C's and stuff, because I'm not punching as hard as they want me to, like, really getting into it. Next time you won't be. Stage clear. I swear to god, I'm gonna get a C again. A 99% accuracy. Hey, I'm back to A minus, my friends. I don't know how I did better that time. But I did. Now, this suspicious activity is up to 50%. Unrest. This is, game is wild. Like, I'm playing basically just a fun VR rhythm game, and in the background they're showing insurgencies, and, like, outriders are being deployed to settle the unrest. It's wild. All right, we'll do another one of these guys at stages. This uh, pyro guy. On easy, and then I'll kick it up to medium for something else. Could we'll try medium. Way out of a dumpster, baby. Three... Could anybody Two, dance their way out of a dumpster? One. I thought that phrase was paper bag. Dumpsters are way harder to get out of than paper bags, motherfucker. The VR grid. So, the story is nonsensical. I'm glad it has a story, though. Like, it's very interesting to me that it actually... They went out of their way to be like, Okay, yeah, these are like underground cyberpunk resistance fighters, and... Like, I don't know. It's silly, but it's not bad to have something to it. It gives the game some flair that a lot of these other games don't have. It's a 
pretty cool. I like this one. Yeah, the particle effects are awesome, and I really like that sometimes um, they change it up with the background start at the end of a song. It's visually much more stimulating than Autica or something like that, as I've said already, but... It doesn't always feel as rhythmy as some games. Like, Beat Saber feels very... rhythmy, and this, like, it's kind of floaty in some spots, but it's, it's cool. You gotta kind of duck down for some of these too. Oh shit, it's still going, still going. Ooh. You do work up a sweat even on easy too, like you're motivated to move your body a little bit. I think this does kind of suffer a little bit from um, the Beats Fever problem of like, most of the songs are instrumental and just sound kind of generic. Not generic, I mean they're pretty good, but it's like... Beat Saber has vocals and kind of poppier sounding songs that stick in your head. I can't imagine getting this song stuck in my head. That said, I haven't seen everything they have to offer here, so... Now, originally I thought you could, like, swing your hands like you were dancing instead of punching at the stuff, but it seems like it doesn't want you to do that. When I swing my hands, it doesn't work too well. I missed one bucket. Also worth throwing out there that this game has been out on Steam uh, since 2018, and it's got really positive reviews. I think it's like 90% 90, 90 positive from user reviews on Steam. So people have enjoyed this game for quite a bit on the PC side, and it's cool that we're finally getting it. I don't see any real potential issues with PSVR porting on this one. Uh, you know, the game is cool, but it's pretty simple visually. It's kind of a cartoony, uh, stylized thing. And I think the move controller should be plenty able to handle this. This is cool. I'm liking this a lot. Ratchet. Next time you won't be. And since so she said last time. Clear. What did I get? What did I get? A! Not even an A minus, baby? Well, yummy with you. Okay. Sure. Suspicious activity is rising. Like it, it it feels as much like dancing as you want it to, because you can kinda dance when you want to. Um, but there is a person in front of you kind of saying, hey, this is how the dance could go if you were to dance along with the song, like the way that we programmed it in. You can actually check this out, guys. I didn't show you this yet or even mention this, but... And I don't know how it works, I haven't used it, but they have a custom songs thing where you can make your own dances, and you'll be the guy in the background, like, dancing along motion capture to the song. It's It looks like a cool concept. I think you can add in new songs and, like, um, I mean, this won't be on PSVR like any song you want, but I think you'll probably have the option to create your own dances and your own uh, patterns to go along with songs, which is pretty cool. There's a lot to choose from here. So we've been doing Yuri and Pyro. Let's Yay. try Laïs. This fearless don't exist. Okay, we're going to start trying some normal now and see how that goes. I hate to admit it, but I'm already sweating a little bit. Once again, it's pretty hot in my house, and it's like 100 degrees outside in Florida, so... Man, I love all these different environments. This is cool. Every character's got their own spot. The fearless don't exist. Three, two, one. See what she's doing. Gotta get low. Whisk, whisk my arms around. Dance with me. Move. I'll dance with you. I'll dance with you. I'm moving. I'm moving. This is cool. I want you to 
Okay, I'm actually having to duck down pretty good for this one. Ooh, okay. Talking about all dressed chips in my chat? Some Canadian shit in here. You and Rypop need to have a talk about all dressed chips. I liked all dressed chips, honestly. I've only tried them once, but. The main problem was AJ ate the whole bag. At the uh, GameCat meetup, Rypop bought us all dressed chips. And I brought it back to our hotel room, and that man just. Li I looked at the bag and I was like, did you eat those? But yeah, I ate the whole thing. Okay, normal seems to be working. I'm liking normal pretty well. She thinks I'm fun. I think she's fun. We're having a great time. Uh, yeah, as I said before, I already like this better than, like, Synth Riders and, and some of the other stuff I've played. Um, Beats Fever. Although I still I think Beats Fever is not a bad game, but... This is just has so much more polish and style and attitude. Uh... That, it, that gets me points. Yeah, all dressed chips are like everything on it, baked potato. Um, they're a Canadian thing, really. Like, uh, it's like poutine or something, but... Rypop, one of our moderators at Without Parole, is Canadian, and he brought us some all dressed chips one time. Oh, I love- look at that! That shit's swirling around! Oh, man. The presentation is off the charts in this game. Like, this is more visually stimulating than Beat Saber. And they definitely put a lot of effort into how this was going to be. Um, this, this looks gorgeous, honestly. But it's nothing that I don't think the PSVR can handle. Obviously, it's going to be pretty simple to make this look good, but... All right. Feel pretty good about that. Well done. You have great moves. Why, thank you, Light. Stage clear. Give me that A minus. Yes, yes. Okay, so it appears that the more songs I play, the suspicious activity detected is going way up. And I heard something about there's a stage where you fight like sort of like a boss character. So I wonder if this is moving towards a boss fight. If so, that's pretty cool. I like that concept. Just another way that this game seems to be differentiating itself a little bit from all the other VR rhythm games out there. Oh, what did I do? I thought I was picking the next song. Lies. My bad. Remember to move with the music. That's what I'm trying. I think, uh, you know, with 45 songs, this is going to be a good value if it's 15 bucks like it is on, on uh, the Steam store. You know, we might end up with the old PlayStation okay. packs, Try but I think even for 20 bucks, this would Not be pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff can. here. That's cheaper than Autica Three, or Beat Saber. Two, and it's, it's got a lot one. going for it, if we're being totally honest. Oh no. I wish I could do the dance the way she's doing it. She looks way cooler than I do. Ah, I missed. Ooh, that's got some weird little twists in it. Dance with me. I feel like this is gonna be a C. I fucked up too much at the beginning. There's a lot going on here. Thank you for saying my dancing is great. It's not actually great, but I'm 
I guess I'm doing okay. It's okay, Oh wow! How am I supposed to reach like that? Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> okay, that was that was difficult. Felt like I was playing twist here for a second there. The way they had me cross that over. Oh, that weird twist at the beginning there is wild. Oh, come on. I'm trying to feel the beat, I don't know. I think this will become a lot easier as I figure out what kind of dances uh, I'm supposed to be doing in each song exactly. On first try, it's always kind of hard to get this right. She looks like a badass doing it, I look like a dumbass. Wow, this is quite a... Ooh, all right. I don't think I got an A on that one. I'm gonna be really honest Capoeira with you guys. Capoeira is a game. It is dance. It is fight. That wasn't Capoeira. Stage clear. C plus. Oh, okay. Something's happening. Look at this. System breach. Seventy percent warning. Eighty percent warning. Sections ninety-seven, sixty-three, and thirty-four are in lockdown. All transhumans with infected implants to be contained. They're on some, this is some Verna Wendy's type shit over here. Okay, um, we're getting real close to this, whatever this warning is about, so let's, let's go back to the lobby and play some more songs. Remy, Lewin, Dre, Sonia, Core. Right, Ren, I'm going up against Sonia, Sonia. I think. You want to take me on? Fight the power, resistance, kid vicious, zombie. As much as I like this game, the people who made it can't spell very well. I don't know if they're no uh, person said from from the Hi, country Dave, or what. But yeah, it's enjoying this. A few, a few different things. Yeah, I'm liking it a lot. I'm liking it quite a bit, and I shouldn't be talking shit about how they misspelled a few words because overall the game is very fun and has a really cool presentation style that I'm uh, very much into. And I got it for six bucks on sale, but it should be fifteen when it comes out. So, uh, good price, too, for 45 songs and a lot of different environments. they got a lot of cool background stuff going on, too. You'll see here. Um, it's Rebel visually a lot more system. exciting than a lot of these Three, games out there, and I think two, that goes a long way. One. I'm going to try and do what she's doing. My feelings. This is fun. I like this. Oh shit, where'd they come from? Alright, so even normal isn't isn't too shabby in terms of difficulty. Feels fun to play. Goes all the way up to extreme though. Oh shit, where'd you come from? Ooh, this feels like dancing, this part. I like that. Mapping on this song is quite good. No more Mr. Nice Girl. That is a good phrase. I like that phrase. I 
I'm fucking this part up a lot. Okay. Let's turn it up. Oh, no, wrong. Oh, I'm fucking up real bad. This game seems difficult to master. You gotta be really precise with where you put your hands in a lot of these moments. Ooh. I did. Rock on. I will see you around. Alright. Stage clear. We gotta be getting real close to 100 percent here on this thing. Come on. System breach. We're at 90%. What's going on? Underground collider clubs are under siege as Uriel breaches their networks. What I heard was that these stages against Uriel are some of the most fun in the game, but you can't just get to them from the main screen, so it looks like you have to build up to it by playing. Lewin. And then it's a boss fight, Do which is... That's pretty cool. We shall see. You got Ouroboros, Eris, Dragon Princess. Oh, 4 minutes 51 seconds. That's long. Quite a few of these songs are pretty long, actually. Uh, let's do Ouroboros. That sounds fun. As always, thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, checking out this game that's coming out later this week. I love being able to preview stuff for you guys now that I have this PC set up. Um, so it's cool to be able to say, hey, this is coming this week. This is what it does. This is what it looks like. And I'm glad you guys are enjoying it, too. So, um, just let me know if the chat's still working and stuff, because I haven't heard a comment in a minute. Roy Schwartz. There's Roy. Perfect Do timing. Do you have the skill? This looks like something AJ see. would like, too. I think Three, AJ would like it. It's not very two, metal, but one. I think he'd be into it. I think Brian's really going to enjoy it. David Moore said, yes, chat is broke. No, I can hear you now. Seems fine. But I didn't hear you for a minute. Set. Oh, never mind. Sometimes the uh, voice to text thing, text to voice thing that I use, isn't that reliable. No This, so this kind of stuff is very similar to Synth Riders and Air Tone, these parts right here. But I gotta say, for some reason, neither of those games grab me the same way this has. I think it's just the presentation and like the the attitude of it. LOL. I can only imagine what this shit is like on extreme mode. I don't know that I would be able to keep up with it, honestly. Maybe one day. I gotta imagine that this would be a huge workout on on hardcore mode, though. Oh shit! I'm missing stuff coming out of my peripheral! As much as I like that they have these people dancing in the background, like, I can't even pay attention to this lady at all right now, because I'm trying to not die. Whoa! Hey! I made it. I think this might be time for a boss fight, too. You are worthy of your victory. Stage clear. 98.8% accuracy. Uh-oh. System breach. We're at 100%. Underground Collider Clubs are under siege as Uriel breaches the networks. Oh, it is a boss fight! Yes! Oh, no, no. Yes, it's gonna be great. What you got for me, Uriel? So I guess the, the, the backstory and the concept does play into the game itself, because when you play enough stages you fight the big bad uh, AI or some some lady who wants us all to stop dancing, essentially. She hates that we dance. 
Oh, look at this shit. She's got her own level. There's a bunch of creepy eyes all over it. Funky. All right. Mind Crusher. We're playing Mind Crusher. Was brought in for the good of all. Oh, wow. No it's a man. Uriel, that is terrifying. Three, two, one. What kind of songs you got? It's probably gonna be hard. Oh, wow! Oh, wow! The switchovers! They're getting me with the switchovers, just like Beat Saber. Oh, no! This is hard! False! And I'm on normal! I gotta get way better at this game, this is cool. Oh no, am I gonna lose? I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose. Doing my best, guys, doing my best. Oh no! Alright, Ariel, I'm taking you down. I might get a C minus or something, but I'm still gonna win. Wow, this boss level is crazy looking. Reminds me of the CPU in Tron. I wonder if if you beat enough of the game, you can just play these whenever you want. Like if these unlock as a permanent thing, you can just go back to, or if they're always boss fights. That's a good way to, to kind of end a session, though. Like, you play through a few songs, you have a good time, and then at the end you play one boss fight, and then you can call it. Which is probably what I'm going to do. I'm sweaty as hell. This game really gets you moving. Alright, the switchover is not so bad this time. I got this. Oh, shit. Alright, Ariel, you're about to get it. Guys, this is like one of my favorite VR rhythm games already. I like this a lot. Oh shit, I almost knocked something over on my table, I don't know what it was, but it didn't fall over, so we're good. Dude, the mapping was awesome on that level, I was moving the whole time, that was that was great. Beg for my freedom, I just kicked your ass, I don't need to beg. Put my face, Ariel. Just A minus your ass. See you later. What's my score? 321. Wow, those high scores are pretty high. Good 200,000 above what I did. I don't even know how you accomplished that. Whew. Well, I wonder what the next round is. Is that more Uriel or is that uh, going to go back to... Oh, wow, there's more Uriel stages. Dude, once you get to the boss fight, you can just play a bunch of, bunch of boss fight levels. Oh, I don't know if I'm ready for this. It's like the campaign I wasn't expecting. All right, I'm going to take a drink and I'll do one more song. This better not be a five-minute song. I'm going to lose my shit. Hold on. Ooh, water is good. If anybody ever tells you water's not good, tell them Dave said otherwise. Water's pretty good for you. Oh, so is vodka. Mm. All right, let's go. Ready to tango again, Ariel? I created the system. It's time for you to pay the ultimate price. Pay the Three, ultimate price. Two, I created one. the system. I love how he's like, you must pay the ultimate price, and then he puts on like a nice techno song with some cool pop piano at the beginning. Accept your fate. Boom. 
Oh, he plays a pretty spirit song. This doesn't seem as hard as the last one, but I don't know yet. We'll see what happens. Sounded a little bit like a Daft Punk song or something here. That synth is very Daft Punky. Which I like. Oh, whoa! Okay. Oh, that was a crossover! Damn you! Never seen one of those. Not Daft Punk anymore! Went straight dubstep. Once again, I want to reiterate, every song in this game is made by the same dude? Which, you know, might might turn people off if they don't like the music, but... There's a decent variety of different styles of electronic here. Oh, wow, this is... Okay, this is getting pretty intense now. Take a hike, brother. I'm just gonna keep kicking your ass. You think you're so big? Well, you are pretty big. It looks like we're just over halfway through the song here. There's a little uh, thing at the bottom you can see that shows you kind of where where you are progress-wise. I think this one's easier than the last one, actually, but I don't know. Okay, so I missed that last comment. It came in kind of quiet, but uh, does it look good? It looks good, yes. I'll, I'll check the comments after this. Sorry, I'm in a bit of a pickle here. Fighting a big boss. And he's mad at me. His eyes are all... Alright, this part is kind of tough, actually. I'm liking it, man. I'm liking it a lot. I'm having a really good time with this. Yeah, this is actually going to be my last one, so I'll explain my final thoughts in one sec here. Ooh, kicked your ass, Ariel. Get out of my face. So, whew, I am covered in sweat. But, clear. what I would like to say about this game is that there's a ton of songs, I really enjoy it, I like the setup, I'll show you real quick how the lobby works, and uh, it's got a backstory which is unnecessary but cool, it's like underground cyberpunk, you're not supposed to dance, they got rid of music for hundreds of years and then somebody reintroduced it. Oh, okay, cool, so once you get to Ariel the first time, you can unlock Ariel whenever you want. This is like a boss fight, is what I was trying to say before. Very. You play through any of these characters and they have their own set of songs that go with them. So you can see this guy's got, you know, his set of songs, and then Pyro's got a different set of songs. You got four difficulties, easy, normal, pro, and hardcore, or no, extreme? Extreme. And uh, they, they all the characters have fully, you know, motion-captured dances, which is really cool. 
And I think it's only going to be 15 bucks. Um, so I can only say positive stuff about this. I really had a good time with it. I uh, worked up a sweat, and I want to keep playing it. So thank you guys for tuning in, as always. Um, this is coming to PSVR this Thursday, July 9th. As far as I can tell, it's going to be 15 bucks, And uh, for that price, I would highly recommend it if you're into rhythm games. Um, it differentiates itself enough from the, the game Beat Sabers and the... Uh, you know the other stuff so out there. Cash grab to get on the rhythm kick that beat not, no, it's not a cash grab at all. It's got a lot of things to differentiate it. And I think at first I was like, when I played on Easy the first few songs, I was like, okay, this is like box VR by way of Beat Saber, you know, whatever, something like that. But it's really more than that. It's got its own style. Um, and even though the mechanics are similar to a game like Synth Riders or Aritone or some of these other VR games I've played, I just like it better. The presentation's really good. Um, the songs have been decent for the most part. Maybe not as memorable as, obviously not as Roy memorable Schwartz. as Beat Saber, but Set. still pretty good. Later day. So I would recommend it, have yeah. A great night. Catch you guys later. Uh, as always, you're great. I love you. Thanks for hanging out while I showed off some games and uh, had a good rest of your night. Catch you next time around. The there you guys get to dive into Set. the permanent. Look Thanks at this. So much as Check this shit out, guys. Looks fun. Bum, 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 bum.